Well, hello there. It's your wellness coach, Melissa Boston Atoyebi. And I really want to bring a message today regarding the fact that I don't know if you guys are feeling it, okay? But we are under this epidemic of disease right now. I see so many people in their 40s and 50s dying prematurely. And I want you to think about that for a second because it really angers me. It angers me because here's what I know to be true. I know that a lot of this is by design. There's no money in completely healthy people. And I'm gonna prove that. See, we become lifetime consumers, right? Satisfying two things every day, multiple times a day. It's something that's on our mind. It's something we do over and over and over. And that's the fact that we are hungry and we are thirsty. So our hunger and thirst is an industry that people are capitalizing on. And they're making not just food. It would be one thing just to make food that we know is good for us and healthy, but they're making food that's highly addictive and this highly addictive food is destroying us. Let me just show you and prove a point. Do you know that sugar is actually seven times more addictive than cocaine? In fact, sugar at one point was my guilty pleasure. Now I still indulge and it's something that I find myself every day working to resist. That's how addictive it is. And then when you think about high fructose corn syrup, think about that for a second. The very design of high fructose corn syrup, is, it means they've taken out all the nutrients, right? There's nothing in there but sugar and it's processed from corn. And so not only is it genetically modified, but it's processed in a way that it leaves the person eating it or drinking it wanting more and more and more. I mean, it triggers your cravings. And so when you think about a lot of the foods that our kids are asking for, and if you look at the commercials that they witness when they're watching their Saturday cartoons, it's filled with garbage and junk. And then they get to the grocery store, they fall out because they want that junk. Do you know that it's predatory and it's illegal in places like France for those big companies to exploit our children. But here we are living in a society where now just in the United States, if we have kids that are born after the, after the year 2010, and if they're African-American, one out of two of them will face diabetes in their lifetime. And I find that unacceptable. And so I wanna talk about some of the challenges with what's happening right now. In fact, you know, I was given this as a gift. I went to an event, this was before the pandemic, and I got this sparkling grape juice, right, as a gift. Guess what one of the ingredients is? High fructose corn syrup. In fact, I was gonna indulge in it one night, looked at the ingredients, and I'm like, they're sticking it in everything. I mean, look at your food, start reading your labels because you're gonna find that sugar, corn syrups, they're in everything, okay? But I wanna really get to what I wanted to discuss tonight. And that's regarding this epidemic of obesity and why we seem to have this inability to lose weight, okay? First, I wanna point something out. So when I wrote the book, Proverbs Diet, along with Dr. Bill Thurston, I wrote that book back in 2013. So that was seven years ago, okay? But because I found myself under a personal battle, literally battling for my life, okay? went through this bout of insomnia where I couldn't shut my brain down, could not sleep for literally nine days. I thought I was going to die, literally. I remember planning out my will and just thinking about the fact that I might not be here much longer. And so I started really looking and reading the labels. And when I found, you know, really the, the real truth, when I exposed the truth, I was just flabbergasted, okay? And here's the other thing to know. You know, again, there's no money for them in just a totally healthy nation. And so they capitalize on us by not allowing us to grow our own fruits and vegetables and raise our own animals, right? We're dependent on the food supply chain, okay? But we're also then all of a sudden turned over to the healthcare system. And so you have a food supply chain that represents $2 trillion. Then you have this whole healthcare or what I like to call the sick care which is 2.5 trillion. So there's $4.5 trillion that we're spending every year just here in the United States on things 
that aren't really advancing our life's purpose, right? Now we know that it's important for us to have access to healthcare and there's times when medication is life-saving, but we do know that there's certain things that are happening that are downright predatory. And so we wanna jump into that tonight, okay? Because it upsets me because I can think about people that I know in their 40s and 50s that aren't here today and they died from a preventable disease. In fact, some of them just in the last 30 days, in fact, 95% of us will die prematurely from a preventable disease. See, we all will die at some point, but wouldn't it be nice if we can die just like the elephant? You just go away, you lay down, you fall asleep, and you die peacefully at a good old ripe age, when you're plus 100, wouldn't that be amazing? But they just haven't designed it because it's kind of like this. They want us to live long enough, right, to have whatever things they need us to consume in, but then after we get to a certain age, it's almost as if they want to dispose of us, right? They're not even really celebrating and honoring the, our seniors and our elders the way other countries do. And so we've got to expose that. And so when I wrote the book, Proverbs Diet, I want to share with you just something in that book. So this was 2013 because the, the message today about this whole issue with losing weight, I actually, I actually addressed it way back then, okay? And so let's look at this. And so if you have the book, it's on page three. But I'm going to share with you something. In this book, I looked out to the future. So I looked out to the year 2030. And when I looked out to the year 2030, it talked about the fact that during the same time, young adults in their 20s are on a waiting list for liver transplants due to fatty liver disease. And that's when the body accumulates too much fat. See, it really only needs about 5% fat in the liver. Beyond that, it's success. And it's called fatty liver disease. Some people take it all the way up to 70%. At that point, you have to get a transfer, a liver transfer, right? A, a transplant, okay? And so when I talked about that then, this whole epidemic of fatty liver disease and how it was impacting so many of us, you'll, you have no idea of what's happening right now. And the reason why you can't take that weight off, the reason why our kids are under this attack of diabetes and, and this epidemic of obesity. I mean, it's really something that's so alarming. We need to wake the world up. We need to share this video. We need to talk to everyone we know and let them know that it's by design. And if we don't do something to stop it, it's gonna to continue to take over, okay? In fact, I also talked about the fact that in this period, almost half of the adult population is diabetic. An unprecedented number of children under the age of 10 are diagnosed with diabetes, reproductive cancers, and heart disease. Kidney dialysis centers have become more popular than McDonald's. And here's why I'm now disgusted about what's going on. See, we can look into the future and look at the reality based on where we're at right now, but we could also use that to say that's not where we want to end up. Let's change it. And so the reason why I'm so disgusted right now is because I picked up some articles, right? And really just trying to do more research to see, well, where are we at right now? This is 2020. But do you know that a lot of the things that I wrote about then are already happening right here, right now? And that's because no one is holding accountable the food supply system and a lot of these chemicals they're sneaking into our food that's breaking our bodies down. And so what I've done is I've actually prepared a quick little training because I really wanna make sure you get the message. I wanna drive it home because guess what the good news is? The good news is we don't have to suffer. The good news is the choice is ours. We can actually make a choice right now and change that downward trajectory. Okay, we can make it a new future for 2030 and beyond. And so let me go ahead and share with you real quickly just a message that I was compelled to write about. In fact, as I share this message with each and every one of you, you know, I wanna first of all welcome anyone who might be brand new and watching this for the very first time, you know, as a wellness coach, as a wellness activist, right? As a wellness advocate as well. You know, I really wanna expose secrets to living a longer, healthier and happier life. And so I'm not only a wellness coach, I'm the author of The Proverbs Diet, the book I have right here. 
and also the CEO of a company called Wakana for Life. And so today we want to really dive into this whole aspect of fatty liver disease and how it's wrecking havoc on us, right? We want to talk about this health crisis, how we can detox our livers and what foods that I recommend and what we can do about it. Because here's the good news. We can talk about the problem, but with every problem, there's a solution if we're willing to open our minds. And so if you're catching this live, I want you to go ahead and drop me a one. I always like to see who's on our first run, okay? If you're watching this on the replay, please go ahead right now and drop me a number two. Great. Okay, so let's look at the problem. So I actually had found a few articles and then I went and did some further research. In fact, a great website that I love is um, Healthline. I love Dr. Axe. There's a lot of great articles out there that you can really go study. There's some peer reviewed journals as well. But this whole aspect of fatty liver disease. So the University of California identified a sneaky food additive that's literally wrecking havoc on our lives, okay? So I want you to think about a traffic jam, okay? I want you to think about your liver in this terms. Because remember, I told you earlier, your liver is designed to handle really no more than about 5% fat. But imagine if all of a sudden, when you're eating, your food is all being converted into fat going right to your liver. Now, we know that healthy fats are good. We know that fats are a nutrient that can nourish our cells, but we also know there are certain fats that are lethal. We know that there are certain fats that there are no safe amounts, like trans fats. We also know that there are certain chemicals that have no business in our diet. So now all of a sudden, I want you to think about your liver, and I want you to think about this traffic jam as all the fat cells that are showing up right around the time you're eating every day, and then it just consumes your liver over time. And so let's look at the difference between a healthy liver and an unhealthy liver. In fact, you're gonna notice in this healthy liver, it's free of those excess fat cells, right? There's very little fat, negligible, okay? But in this unhealthy liver, you're gonna notice the fat cells are everywhere to the point that the liver is becoming toxic. I mean, look at that liver. So now, what is the reason for this? I want you to write this down. Glyphosate, okay? Glyphosate. It's a chemical found in Roundup, and it's a weed killer. But it's sneaked into our food supply because if they're spraying the grass, if they're spraying the crops, guess what? We're going to get it in our food supply. So we have to get to the root of the problem. See, they keep telling us to eat healthy, but guess what? You eat healthy, you feel sick, right? You eat healthy, you still gain weight. You eat healthy and some people still die prematurely because it's harder than just eating healthy. There are so many things they've done to really destroy our food supply. Eating healthy has to be by knowing the proper knowledge, right? And so let's look at this even further. In fact, Glyphosate causes a slowdown of 80% of women over the age of 45. But what do you think it's also doing to our kids? In fact, do you know when they actually sampled people, do you know that they found that 70% of those individuals had an excessive amount of glyphosate in their system. So if we know that 70% of people in this country are running around with an excess amount of glyphosate in their system, guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna be this epidemic of disease that we're talking about. In fact, it's so sad, but I'm so thankful and grateful for researchers like Dr. Ken Berry, MD, who's a weight loss expert. See, you can't just think it's about hey, we got to eat better, we got to exercise. We have to get to the root of the problem because so many people I know, they eat healthy. They do all the right things, but they're still having this problem. And so what's the, the challenge with this glyphosate, right? It actually depletes your glutathione. Now, here's the other interesting thing. In the book, Proverbs Diet, if you go to page 20, I also talked about glutathione. I talked about a lot of different things, but this is one of the things that I talked about as well. And here's what I talked about glutathione in the book. In fact, we're going to go to page 20 real quick. 
Here we go. So it says glutathione is naturally contained within our bodies and acts as a buffer from harmful toxins, chemicals, and damaged cells. It goes in and it absorbs all the harmful things that can create problems inside of our body. When we don't have enough glutathione, we are fortunate to get rid of even one of these harmful invaders. So if we're eating food that's contaminated, and that's food that's not organic, right? Food that actually isn't proven to be free of pesticides, and even that can be tricky, so it's almost as if we have to grow our own food, right? There's other solutions as well, but it's gonna deplete this glutathione. And that's gonna then paralyze the liver enzymes that convert the vitamin D into its active form. And the reason why vitamin D has to be in an active form because it helps to accelerate weight loss. It regulates our blood sugar. And so this epidemic that I'm talking about in the Proverbs diet, it's being accelerated because of these chemicals. So it's creating numerous problems for us. And so when we think about foods that can actually boost our liver function, we have to get back to really healthy foods. And when you can choose organic, okay? Your avocado, the omega-9 found in this particular food actually increases your output of glutathione. In fact, there's something known as holy basil. Holy basil actually detoxes the liver and it replenishes the glutathione. And we all know about blueberries, okay? Blueberries actually helps to protect the liver and it increases our enzymes. And so these are just three of the foods that you can incorporate to help to replenish that liver. And here's the reality. I know people who don't eat fruits and vegetables daily. Think about some of the kids who are growing up in areas where there's food deserts. They're eating this processed food that's loaded up with this glyphosate. And now all of a sudden we're wondering why are they pre-diabetic? Why are they diabetic? Why is this happening? Why do they have metabolic syndrome? Why do they have so much belly fat that is increasing their risk factors for every chronic disease? Because if your belly isn't one inch smaller than your hips, then guess what? It's going to increase your risk factor for almost every chronic disease. And so with that being said, I am just here as a vessel. I'm here as a resource to really bring information. Hopefully you got something out of this. If you feel this is beneficial, share the video. In fact, like it, make a comment, connect with me. I want to make sure that I'm bringing you topics that really can help impact you and, and your families. Because I know just like me, you've experienced the same loss. People who you look at and think they're the picture of health and they're dead at 55, at 45 years old, why is that? And again, it's beyond just eating healthier. It's understanding that a lot of this is by design. And if we don't shout this from the top of the mountains, then guess what? We're gonna still be under attack. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it further. You know, we're gonna go on a 21 day challenge and hopefully you guys are up for a challenge. In fact, we're gonna start this on the 21st of the month, of this month. And on the 21 day challenge every day, we're gonna provide a list of items you can choose from. And you just eat those foods over the course of 21 days. And we're gonna watch our health and our life transform because here's what I'm also here to tell you. I'm also here to bring you the good news, okay? Because in the book, The Proverbs Diet, we talk about bringing the good news. And the good news is we know that God created everything for a purpose. We know that every plant, Every seed bearing fruit has a purpose for us. And if we can just understand the reason of those foods, consume those foods organically, share this information with our family, we can break the curse of poor health and we can end this vicious cycle of disease that's attacking all of us. And so with that said, thank you so much for tuning in. Please tune in to the next video. And again, share this, like it, if you really receive value from this video today. So thank you.